Hey, what's up guys, how's it going? So today I have a new LED light that I'm gonna be trying out for you guys, it's by Waxma. So of course you guys can also get these on Amazon. Uh, they were awesome enough to send them out to me. So the ones that I got are H11s, you guys can get them in 9006, 9005, H4s, uh, whatever application fits your vehicle. They're 72 watts, so about 36 watts for each bulb, and together they produce out to 7,600 lumens. They're 6,500K, so again, with LEDs, they'll be pretty white, actually. Features high cooling and everything, comes with a year warranty, and of course, it's Amazon, so you could potentially return it without being charged. So I'll leave the link down in the description for you guys for it, and it's also Prime, so you get it pretty quick. So they reached out to me and said, hey, would you like to try a light bulb for us? So I said, sure. So I had them send out an H11 bulb to hopefully do my low beams for you all. But I'll put a picture right here. And unfortunately, it didn't work. So the fan on the back of these things was just a little too big. And I got in Forerunner forums and stuff and some of you guys on Instagram. Uh, also reached out to me saying, yeah, I've had problems with multiple LED lights with that. Uh, so basically, in the back of the projector uh, portion of this headlight, there's like this silver bar that kind of like runs across it. So the light, it would sit in the housing, but when you went to turn it, the uh, fan, it would get in the way. So I'll show you guys what I mean real quick. Let's go ahead and unbox it. Installation manual, and then here's the light. So here it is. Nice rubber gasket and everything. Very solid, very nice and put well together. However, you could see how big the fan is, which is fine in certain applications, you know, like for your high beam bulbs uh, that doesn't have a tight area to fit into. However, when I try to put it in and then turn it to seat it right here, it would just catch. So I put it back in the box. I was gonna use my buddy's uh, Tacoma since these are H11s and the Tacoma is the same size. I just couldn't like meet up with him really to do it in time. So instead, we're gonna be putting these into our fog lights. So my fog lights on my Forerunner are still halogen and I still have freaking halogens up there. I need to get switchbacks, but H11s will work in your guys' fogs. So I'm gonna install those real quick. Thanks to the guys that uh, reached out to me in comments in the last video saying that, hey, just put the H11s in the fogs. Cause I was gonna try to do fogs and research for you all, but you guys were awesome and let me know. Eventually these will get swapped out for either uh, LED pods or like the Morimoto ones. Uh, I really like the Morimoto ones cause they're nice and dark. Uh, now before you say, well, why would you put LEDs in your fogs? Fogs are meant for like dewy or fog or sand and yes you are 100% right so by putting LEDs into your fogs yes it'll make it nice and bright however if you're in a very foggy environment or a cloudy environment or just have a bunch of dust on the road turning these on with LEDs in them basically won't help you anymore so basically right now we're just putting them in to show you guys how bright they are and if you have amber lights anywhere else in your vehicle and you don't want ambers down there, then this is perfect for you because I do plan on putting amber either on the ditch lights or down here into the uh, grill. I just haven't decided yet, but I don't live in a very foggy or dusty environment that actually needs to have those as ambers. So, so as you can see, these are kind of a, a little bigger than other LED lights that I've shown you guys in the past. However, it's just as simple. So it's a lot better than all this crap for HIDs. So this part right here will plug into the light and then this will plug into your stock harness of your vehicle and they should just light up. So let's go ahead and get them installed. All right, so to access your fog light, just basically climb underneath it. So I'm underneath the uh, skid plate. I'm a little more to the left-hand side. So basically all you have to do is you can grab it and twist, or right here is your connector where my thumb's at. You can just depress this down. That will pop off, and then now there's your actual light, which then you'll take, twist counterclockwise, and then just pull out. So there's your stock bulb. You'll take your replacement, send it up in there. It'll be a little tight. So you'll maybe just have to fish around a little bit to align the uh, grooves. Okay, so then when you have it in, 
Then you just take your stock wiring harness, which is right here. And then take the one from the LED connector and then basically just connect them. Okay, so once you're connected up, make sure that it turns on first, obviously. Then you're gonna wanna maybe just find an area to kind of hold this. This one comes with kind of a loop right here. So if you want, you could zip tie it or double side sticky tape. Basically, you just don't want this thing flopping around, especially if you're off-roading because that's one way for the light to fail. All right, so it's in and it's locked, but I don't know why it's like that. Uh, if you read about them, it says that they're adjustable. So basically that means that this is able to move right here to wherever you need it. All right, so that seems pretty solid. I just tinkered with it a little bit to uh, kind of get it to settle. But so you can see that I'm still moving it like inside the housing. It takes some force to uh, really move it. So let me get back to center. So it takes some force to actually like legit move it, but I just feel with off-roading, like if this isn't a street car, you're perfectly fine. But off-roading for my application, I don't know. We'll see if it, uh, if it moves over time. Okay, so I have it on now. Nice, very clear white light. You could tell from that one and then the uh, sea light one that I installed up there, they're pretty much the same color. And then this is your original fog down here. This is pretty much right in line with it and it's not that bright at all. But when you come over here, it's very bright. So we'll wait for the sun to set again and then we'll go to the light testing spot and we'll see how this one compares to your stock halogen bulb. Okay guys, so I have the fogs in now. So the camera's kind of doing it justice uh, by showing that, you know, the LED lights that I have in my uh, low beam lights don't project out that way because I still have the uh, C light ones in here right now. But uh, we'll go ahead and turn on the fogs. So that's the side that has the LED. And then you can see on this side, no LED. So the LED gets way more out to the side than the halogen does. I mean, obviously it's a lot better of a bulb than one single halogen bulb. But we'll turn in now to the dark little dirt area. You can just see that LED fog casting out where the halogen just really can't. Go ahead and turn it off. And for honestly one little bulb, that's pretty bright. Um, I couldn't imagine it with both of them in. I mean, it would just light it up, but. So again, I mean, if you live in a foggy, dusty area, taking these fogs out may not be the best thing. But then again, if you like the product, you could get it for your high beams, you could get it for uh, your low beams. Just don't do it for your low beams if you have a forerunner because it's not gonna fit. It's crazy how that one bulb almost seems brighter than the sea light bulbs. Honestly, I may just put the sea light bulbs into the uh, into the fogs because I do like having those white fogs, but I hardly ever run my fogs at all. I mean, you can barely tell the halogens are on over there. So, it lights it all up just with that one fog. camera over this way more and you can just barely see so I have it basically at the pillar on both sides so, so yeah so I definitely recommend this product for uh, if you have a forerunner for your fogs if you want to put them in there or for your high beams if the ox beam ones uh, aren't for you so I do like this product I feel bad that I wasn't able to get this video out soon enough for the company just because they didn't fit at first. And then I was gonna put it in my buddy's Tacoma, but it didn't work out with him getting his vehicle with his work schedule and my work schedule. So we'll probably put these into that and then I'll show you guys like a little update video in the future about uh, how these are in a Tacoma, if you guys are Tacoma owners. But other than that, I'm pretty satisfied with them in my fogs for now. Like I said, I may get some pods later, but uh, 
it's pretty nice because you know if you're on the trail and you have that over there and I have a very dark tint but it kind of lights this up a little bit too on your side not as well as ditch lights would but I mean you could just you can barely see halogens here we are outside the forerunner huge difference between the two again the camera on the phone is not really doing it justice you could just see the light down at the bottom how much more this fog actually casts out so if you could get a fog with like a yellow light that'd be awesome compared to the uh, stock halogen bulb definitely very very powerful so now that you can see a good difference i'm excited to put both of them in so if this video was helpful for you guys, go ahead and leave a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new, if you want to see more Toyota stuff, Forerunner stuff, how-tos. And again, the link for this will be down in the description if you guys like these bulbs. I know I've reviewed a lot of bulbs in the past couple videos, but like I said, a lot of companies sent them out to me. So far, all of them have been very good products for their price. Uh, this one by Waxma, I wish that the adjustment plastic portion was a little better. Uh, to hold the bulb in its housing. But other than that, it's a very bright and powerful bulb. So I really like that part of it. So I'll have a review of all these bulbs, hopefully later for you guys in another video of how I compared them all for their price, for their brightness. Granted, they all are different bulbs. So in hindsight, maybe I should have just got them all as 9,005s so I could really see the difference in brightness. But it's cool to know that you could put some of these bulbs in your headlights, you could put some of them in your uh, high beam lights, and you could also put some of them in your fog lights. So that's pretty cool. So all right, guys, I'll catch you in the next video. See you later.